Okay, we're going to talk more about truth tables. In particular, I want to go over a question someone asked. And they were asking about the truth table for P or Q. and not R. Okay? Actually, let me get something a little bit darker for that. So the truth table was, they want to know the truth table for P and Q and whatever that result is ended with R. Okay, like this. So how do we do that? Well, to understand how to do this one, we have to understand how the OR works and how the AND works and how the negation works. Now the first thing we have to realize if we have any variable like P, Q, or R, there's two possibilities. The statement P is true or the statement P is false. Okay. Okay, the statement P is true, the statement P is false, right? Only two possibilities, okay? Uh, another way you can think about it is sometimes in computers they use ones and zeros. Uh, so your variable would either be a 0 or a 1, and if you're doing computers, they call them Boolean variables. Okay? So, let's look at this. So, suppose we have the AND statement. Okay, the conjunction looks like this. If both my inputs are true, then my result is true. Okay? If I change one of these to false, it doesn't matter which one, I'll do the one on the left, then my result is false. Okay? Or if they're both false. So as long as the only way that the end is true is if both arguments are true. If one of them is false or both of them is false, then the result is false. Now the or is similar except it's uh, completely opposite in, a, opposite in a sense. So for the OR statement, the only time it's false is if both of them are false. Okay, the OR statement is only false if both of them are false. Right, the AND um, it's only true if both of them are true. The OR statement's only false if both of them are odd. If I change one or both of them to true, it doesn't matter which one, I'll pick the one on the left, then the result is going to be true, right? So the AND is only true in one case when they're both true. If Bob went to the store and Bob likes peanuts, but Bob doesn't like peanuts, it's automatically false, right? If I said Bob went to the store or he likes peanuts, with the or, only one of those statements has to be true because I'm not saying they're both true. I'm just saying one of these is true. Maybe both of them. Okay? So as long as one of the statements is true, it's true. Otherwise, um, the only way the or is going to be false if both are false. Okay? Now, knowing that, we can construct the truth table. And when we construct the truth table, oh, I forgot the last one. Negation is the easiest one. The negation of true is false. The negation of false is true. So negation just flips between the true and the false, like a positive or a negative or a one or a zero, however you want to think about it. Okay. So now we're ready to do our truth table. Okay. Now for the truth table, the way it's going to work out is we have three variables, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do T, 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 false, 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 false. The reason I'm doing this, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because we're going to have, and this is going to be my P. Okay? The reason I'm doing this is because if you have three variables, P, Q, and R, there are two to the third possibilities, two to the third is eight. So that means there are going to be four trues and four falses. Right? Now my next variable, Q,
I am going to do true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false, right? And for my last variable r, I'm going to do true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Now what are the reasons for listing all of these out? The reason I list all of these out is because when I'm evaluating an argument there's only finite number of possibilities. Uh, they could all be true, they could all be false, and any number of things in between. There's six other things in between, right? So based on this, we can evaluate the statement, and the statement we're going to evaluate is P or Q and not R. My and looks like an A, I'm sorry about that. Okay. And let's see, we're going to do this over here, do this over here, do this over here, and we're going to... And I'm going to use some different colors to make this truth table. Okay, so the way we're going to work out this now is, first of all, um, we're going to start in parentheses. Okay, so we're going to work in parentheses first. Inside the parentheses, the statement we have is P or Q. Well, for the first one, P is true. For the next one, P is true. The next one, P is true. The next one, P is true. The next one, P is false. 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 And the last one, P is false. Now, the first one over here, Q, Q is true. The next one, Q is true. The next one, Q is false. The next one, Q is false. The next one, Q is true. The next one, Q is true. The next one, Q, is false, and the last one for Q is false. Okay. So now remember for the OR, the OR is only true, I mean, the OR is only false if both of them are false. So let's look down here, they're both true, they're both true, at least one of them is true, at least one of them is true, at least one of them is true, at least one of them are true. Here we go. This one they're both false, and this one they're both false. So this is the only case where the or is false. We have false and false is the only way the or is false. We'll do that in a different color. Right? Because remember for the or, the only way that an or is false is you have false or false is equal to false. Right? If at least one of them or both of them are true, the or is true. Now, just for organizational purposes, we put the result of the OR right under the OR. And we're doing this first because we always work with the parentheses first. Okay? So, this is the result of this parentheses. In the parentheses was P or Q. And just for organizational purposes, we, we, we wrote the result under the OR symbol. Okay? Now we're going to take this and we're going to do the, the parentheses and not R. Well, what is not R? We can something unless we, we know what we're ending it with. Well, what is not R? Well, R is true, so not R is false. Not R is fa R is false, so not R is true. It just flips the signs. R is true, so not R is false. R is false, so not R is true. 
R is true, so not R is false. R, R is false, so the negation of R is true. R is true, the negation of R is false. R is false, the negation of R is true. Okay? Okay, so we have this over here. Now, finally, what we can do is we can come down the center and we can say this is an AND now, okay? We got an AND. So that's going to be the last thing we do and that's going to be the value of our expression. Now, remember that the AND is only true if both of them are true. If at least one of them is false, the AND is false, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to look for ones that are true. Well, at least one is false, at least they're both false. Oh, they're both true over here, so that's going to evaluate to be a true. Uh, at least one of them is false, so no good. Oh, they're both true over here, so that's going to evaluate to be a true. Uh, no good, at least one is false. Okay, they're both true over here, that's going to evaluate to be a true. And for the rest of these, at least one of them is false. Either there's a false, a false, a false, a false, a false. These are all going to be false because the and can only be true if both are true. Otherwise, it's false. It's false if at least one of them are false. And this column over here in blue is the result of the truth table. Right? It's the last thing we evaluate. Let me do that a little darker. Okay. So we got this over here. Um, so I hope that helps. And I, I posted some other videos on this. So please watch those. Let me know what you think. And um, this is a way to evaluate simple sentences that are either true or false. P is a sentence. It can be Bob went to the store. It's true or it's false. Uh, Q could be Bob likes pizza. Well, he either does or he doesn't. It's true or false. Um, R, it could be the statement, um, some cats can fly. Well, either some cats can fly or they can't. Right? Okay. So I hope this answers your question, and let me know if you have any more. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you.